guys and welcome back to my channel today. We are going to do a super fun video. We're going to be making these wooden earrings for Valentine's Day using the We Create Vision Laser, the one we used in last week's video when we made the stainless steel tumblers. So if you have not seen that video, definitely go back and check that out. You will learn a lot about the We Create Vision Laser Cutter and Engraver. But I'm going to show you guys how to make several pairs of these fun earrings. These are going to make great gifts. These are great for yourself for Valentine's Day. Or if you have a business that you actually want to sell things like these earrings, then this video is going to be super helpful to you. I'm also going to leave you guys a free file for all of these earrings. That's my little Valentine's gift to you. But let's go ahead. I'm going to jump in and show you how to set everything up in the We Create software. And then we're going to use our laser to cut them out. So now I'm in the We Create Make It app. And the first thing you want to do is create a new project. But if you want to search for earrings within the We Create Make It app, then they do have several files that you can use. You just select a file and add it to your canvas. But I already have my own file. I'll also link this file for you guys if you want to try these earrings out and drag that on to the canvas. You'll notice that all of these are outlined in orange and you'll see over here to the right that means that these are set to engrave. I don't want to engrave. I want to cut out all of these images. So if you select cut then you'll see the line changes to red and that means you're going to be cutting. Now right now it's set to three millimeters basswood but for most of these earrings I'm going to be using three millimeter birch plywood. Now these heart ones I'm going to be cutting out on some one quarter inch walnut. So I'm actually going to cut these off of the screen and you will notice down here at the bottom you can actually create a new canvas. And then I'm going to select the five millimeter walnut wood for these to cut these out with. Now back on the first canvas, I want to change all of these orange engraved lines to cut lines. So I'm just hitting down the shift key and once that line, the outside line that I'm going to be cutting turns green, I'm going to click on that and select all of the outside cut lines. Then I'm just going to select the cut option and it already has all of the settings laid out for me that I'm going to need to cut these out. Now I'm going to go in here and select all these little heart patterns. These are actually going to be engraved on the earrings. You have two different engraves. This one just is going to engrave the outlines. But if you hit fill engrave, it's actually going to create a filled in engraving on this earring. Now when I click on those engraved areas again, you can see this square at the bottom of the screen. And you can click on that and select the look that you want. This is totally optional to you, whatever look you want on your earrings. Now it goes ahead and puts all your settings in there and that's all you have to do. You are now ready to send your file to your laser cutter. And I forgot these two little engravings here, so I'll go back and fix those before we send this on to cut out. Now I'm ready to place the material. I'm just going to open up the laser and you will have to have your laser bed installed. Those grates need to be in the bottom when you're cutting out wood. In the last video we took them out, but this one you want them in there. So now we're ready to make this. When you hit the refresh button, you'll be able to view your actual work surface and view your plywood. And then you can actually select your whole design and I'm going to move it over to fit on an area of the plywood that I want this to cut out on. Up on the top right of your screen, you want to make sure this laser flat is selected because we're going to be cutting out on flat basswood. You want to make sure that is selected. Next, we're going to auto focus our laser. This machine automatically focuses itself to whatever thickness material you're working on. So no more manual adjustment, moving the laser head up and down. This machine does it itself. Now you're ready to start your project. So I'm just gonna click start at the top of my canvas. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and send that to the laser.
You can see how great this laser cutter did on these earrings and on the engraving part as well. So I went ahead and installed the one quarter inch walnut piece that I wanted to cut the other earrings out of. And on the first run, I actually did two passes, but I later learned that I only needed to do one pass on these earrings on that walnut setting. Um, and it cut out perfectly. And you can see here, I wanted to show you my venting. This machine vents to the outside. So you can see all those fumes are going to the outside and not into my workshop. But I love the way these walnut earrings turned out. And again, it cut completely through this one quarter inch walnut hardwood. And I was super impressed with that. Now I'm gonna customize these earrings just a little bit. If you have any laser burn marks on your engraving, you can just easily take a piece of sandpaper like I did here and sand those off. They come off really easy. You can see the difference here. It looks much better with some light sanding, but I just sanded down all of the earrings to give them a smooth surface. And I'm also going to be painting a few of these and applying some wood wax to the walnut ones. And you, you guys can see how they turn out. also have some glue here. I didn't use the tacky glue. I actually used some Mod Podge and some glitter. So I started painting these earrings red at first, but then I changed my mind and wanted to add some glitter. So, but you can paint these totally any color in any way that you want to. Since these were Valentine's, I painted a few of them red. You can also choose not to paint these. I left a few of these just as they came out of the laser and they turned out great also. And here I'm going back with that Mod Podge and adding some glitter to these red hearts. And here's that wax I was telling you about. This is just some homemade beeswax um, and mineral oil that I have on hand for my cutting boards. But I put that on that walnut just as a natural finish and it really popped out the color of the walnut wood. Now to finish these, I just purchased this earring kit from Amazon. I liked it because it had these little long dangly things that I thought would look good on the longer earrings. And it also has the earring backings that goes with them. So, and these pliers I actually got at Hobby Lobby. These are super handy when you're working on tiny earrings like this. And here are the earrings on display. I did make up some cards. I actually also made up this shop name just so you guys could get a look of how cute these earrings turned out and how good they look on display. So if you guys have a shop that you're thinking of selling earrings or items like this, the We Create Vision laser is awesome for things like this. So there is a Valentine's special for this laser up to $1,100 off this week. So definitely go down the description if you want to check that out. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like these types of videos and I will see you guys in the next one.